Hello, welcome to day 10. And in this lesson, we are going to be looking at the OR operator and the NOT operator. In the previous lesson, we learned about the AND operator. In other words, you can combine multiple conditions. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how you can also combine multiple conditions. However, you just need one condition to be true so that the code can run. Why the AND? We execute and make sure that every condition is true. The OR operator is only looking for one or more. The moment there's just one condition that is true, the code is going to run. And another thing we're going to be looking at is the NOT operator. So imagine you want to say something is not this. When something is not this, run the code. That's straightforward as that, but let's put it into practice. Now, for us to really understand how this works, we're going to be taking a scenario. So imagine that you need to see a doctor if you're having a fever or you're having a cough. So you can see that there are two conditions. You mustn't wait until you have the two symptoms before you see the doctor. So you want to see the doctor when you have fever or you have cough. So let's declare our variables for those two keywords. So we are going to say fever equals to true and cough equals to false. Now let's check our conditional statement. So if we say if fever or cough, we want to print something to the screen. So we're just going to say, I will see a doctor. If any of the condition is true, I will see a doctor. Now let's run it and see what we get. So running the F5, you can see that we have, I will see a doctor. Now, imagine you replace this with the AND and you run the F5. See, nothing is coming up. So you can see that the OR allow you to check if one condition or more is true. It's just looking for one condition or more for the code to run. Pretty much, this is straightforward. And the truth is, we can also still check multiple or operators. So imagine we still want to check if we have fatigue. Fatigue. Right? Let's say false. So all we just need to do here is to say all fatigue. And if we run it, F5, you can see that it still works, despite the fact that we have two false, right? But the moment you turn this as well to false, then everything will run because everything is false. So hope you get how this works. Now, quickly, what we need to still consider is the NOT operator, right? So let's see what we can do with the NOT operator. So let's just bring this one here, the NOT operator. So what we are going to look at quickly is checking if a password is not what we have on the database. So in other words, let's declare a variable for the user password. So we can just call it password. Let's just give it like maybe one, two, three, four. Then let us check if the password is the same as what we have on the database. So if it is not, we want to print a message that the password is incorrect. So we're just going to say, if not, password, equals to 
700 equals to 9256 okay if the password is not equals to that of course we want to print something to the user we're just going to say sorry that's the wrong password remember i said is either i use double quote here or i use the escape character this works now pretty much let's run our code and see what we have if i run the f5 sorry that's a that's the wrong password and the reason is because this and what we have on the database are two wrong values. So if I just go ahead and make it the same value, you can see nothing happens because we didn't do anything if the condition is true. Okay, that's really cool. Another thing we can look at is how to really modernize the way we write this there's still a much easier way. So instead of using the nuts, we can use actually, we can represent nuts as this. So exclamation and equals to, so this is saying not equals to this, and it's going to produce the same results. Let's run our F5 and see what we have. So you can see it printed for this and it printed for this. So um, you're likely to write this because it's simple and concise to this. All right, and that's how those two things work. With the all operator, you can check if one condition is true, which is what we have here. And with the not operator, you can check if something is not true, right? If something is not true, then you can do something. And pretty much this is how programming work because oftentimes you want to check whether conditions are true or if the conditions are false. Anyways, I have a brief assignment for you because I really want to make sure that you understand what I've taught you with these two operators. So check the description to see what you need to do. See you in the next one. If you're yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, do that right now and follow us on all our social media handles so that you can be notified each time we release a new update. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.